नमस्कार साथियों आप सबका कला शिक्षा के कार्यक्रम में स्वागत है कला शिक्षा की जब बात करते हैं तो मैं आपको लेकर चलती हूँ नेशनल करिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क 2005 में आप सब जानते हैं कि नेशनल करिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क 2005 ने कला का जितना बढ़िया तरीके से पहली से दसवीं तक की किन किन स्टेजेस में किस तरह से कला शिक्षा दी जाए उसकी बात की है और आज का हमारा ये कार्यक्रम विशेष रूप से हमारे जनरल टीचर्स के लिए है जहाँ पे आप लोग न केवल कला पर बाकी के विषय भी पढ़ाते हैं सो so, जब आप बाकी के विषय पढ़ाते हैं तो उसके साथ कला को जोड़ करके या कला को आधार बना करके कैसे शिक्षा दी जाए इसके ऊपर आज हम जिस विशेषज्ञ से बात करेंगे उनका नाम है देवी प्रसाद जी आपके जितने भी प्रश्न हैं उनके बारे में विस्तार से चर्चा करेंगे उन्हीं के साथ तो मैं आपको लेके चलती हूँ देवी प्रसाद जी के पास जहाँ वो कला क्या है कला शिक्षा क्या है कला शिक्षा हमारे कक्षा कक्ष में कैसे ऑर्गेनाइज की जाए जो बच्चे कार्य कर रहे हैं उस कार्य का मूल्यांकन कैसे करें कला और शिक्षा या शिक्षा के लिए कला तो चलते हैं देवी प्रसाद जी के पास आपके प्रश्नों सहित दे से दैट दे आर इन सर्विस टीचर दे से वॉट इज़ आर्ट एजुकेशन वी हैव हर्ड ऑफ आर्ट बट वी डू नॉट नो वॉट इज़ आर्ट एजुकेशन सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गाइड अस लाइक हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन आर्ट्स एजुकेशन वॉट इज़ आर्ट्स एजुकेशन एक्चुअली यू हैव टू think slightly in the wider con wider context okay. art education is is defined or explained in many different ways art education as a pure art education as such pure art education yeah. is inverted commas okay. that is teach children art painting or dancing or whatever it is and that is all okay and they are educated in art education but there is also another factor which is in, involved in it that art education is not only teaching some skills of painting or dancing or these things but art education is something which is related to the pattern of life to the style of life to the way of life art is not a superficial thing in our lives art is something which is integrated when you when somebody is walking um and a person who is interested in learning or teaching how to walk gracefully like a person who is walking in a very ungraceful manner will be considered to be a crooked man or, or not a educated person but i think in the middle or maybe earlier than middle part of the 9th 20th century a a concept developed and it developed uh, within the educational world that what is education is it education teaching only arithmetic english or whatever yeah. or is it something else is it does it has it anything to do with except the physical skills yeah. something else in the personality which must be treated in a very special manner so it is the uh, function of developing the personality in such a way that it becomes creative it becomes um affectionate it also becomes beautiful so art education is not only as far as i am concerned it has something to do with the personality the personality should be such that it everything in it looks like an art so art is something quite different from a physical skill art is something to Uh, to orientate human life in a way that it becomes friendly it becomes beautiful it becomes helpful to each other all these qualities should be 
should come in the human being if you give him, him or her art teaching, art education. So that is what I, I mean, generally speaking, this is how I'll put our art. So in a way, this is a holistic education, Absolutely. rather it's a complete education. Yeah. So if there is no art experiences, we are just giving partial uh, education. But if we think of holistic approach and a complete education, that means that art experience has to be part of it, or it is part of it. Let me tell you, this holistic term, it is even now you be used. And say the education should be, should have a holistic spirit. But it has, not many of the qualities which make a real life in the real sense holistic. So the word holistic has to be understood or re-understood so that it, con it contains the style of life to be helpful, to be, uh, to be cooperative, to be beautiful and to be creative. That is what I understand. Asal mein, siksha ka matlab hi, jo original meaning hai of siksha, siksha mein uh, making, a, making a person complete. Complete in what sense? Not in the sense of body should be very strong, muscular and that kind of thing. Complete means every quality which you need for the individual to live as an individual, as well as, as a part of society. As somebody who works with others and also works within himself or herself. Balance development of both, individual as well as society. Teachers ko sir, ye bohat, uh, uh, ye ek prashn man mein aur aata hai ki art education school mein hi kyun? आर्ट तो बच्चे घर पे भी कर सकते हैं अपने आसपास कर सकते हैं स्कूल से बाहर कर सकते हैं तो आर्ट एजुकेशन स्कूल में क्यों व्हाई आर्ट एजुकेशन इन स्कूल्स आर्ट एजुकेशन वर्ड और टर्म हैज टू बी डिफाइंड इन अ वे मस्ट बी डिफाइंड इन अ वे व्हिच एवरीबॉडी अंडरस्टैंड्स इन अ सेम आइडेंटिकल मैनर Art education for the people who you are mentioning okay. is only teaching art. But what I'm saying is, art education is something different. In say the beginning of 20th century, I'm, I'm mentioning the period when Tagore was, or Gandhiji were, there these two people were, or many, many, many more of such, such people. They were growing, they were, uh, working on the system of life, of the system of living for human beings, then they started asking the question whether human life should be complete or should be called complete only when they learn how to make money or make uh, daily use items or it should be different it should be it should be considered as something which develops human beings totally in in a holistic manner and then they ask the question to themselves that well, is this education which is going on in school does it do that it does not so they st they open their own schools so tagore started shantiniketan and shantiniketan I shouldn't say the only institution at that time, but it was one of the institutions, one of the organizations, one of the educational centers, in which the system of teaching or art uh, education itself was such that the education, that the individual grows holistically, doesn't grow only in reading books and writing articles or poems, but it should grow in the manner how he or she behaves, he or she eats, the, uh, eats or in the way he and she works to earn its living and everything that is related to living a 
good life, a socially um, helpful life, a aesthetically beautiful life. So this is what Tagore thought of and he started this education in which teaching of uh, music or uh, walking properly, the children were even six years old children were and uh, was accepted in the, in the school. Mm -hmm. And he, he gave a, an image of human being mm -hmm. to be complete artistically, creatively, economically, and socially. It is not only just teaching a few crafts or a few subjects, but it is teaching the style of life which would be complete which would cover every aspect of life which makes it useful, beautiful, and creative. So I think then I understood what did they mean by that. The, the way he talked, the way he uh, expected his students, his companions to behave was very different from what was happening in other schools or other educational centers. So and of course, then came, soon after that, came Gandhiji with a different uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. But in the end, ending at the same point where Tagore wanted to. Gandhiji's uh, spirit was, uh, was is, uh, is being understood as only economically uh, oriented. Mm -hmm. But it was also socially, aesthetically and economically oriented. He could not accept an education which did not teach individuals to talk to each other humanly, beautifully and with love and whatever was necessary. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think so this way these two people were, were really creating the concept for us concept of uh, art education or, or teaching art to everybody. Teaching arts to everybody and, and giving the due space to arts experiences experience. so that every child or every learner goes through that experience and grows Grows in again, a holistic, holistic manner. Okay. Not as a specialist in particular subject. Of course one can be a specialist, yes. one has to be a specialist. Yes. But the totality of the, the personality should be based on the concept of holistic. Very true. I think that is what uh, the art education is. Yeah. But now, with again, after so many years, we are trying the same uh, process in our primary education or upper primary education. Uh, well, sir. The next question which our teachers have, that in your book, you ha there is uh, one book which, where you say arts, the basis of education. Yeah, it's this one. There are teachers who have raised this curiosity that what do you mean by arts as basis of education? Though I understand that in your earlier two uh, replies, you have very well given the uh, uh, elaborated uh, explanation that why we should say that arts is basis of education. But if you would like to add little more, that what exactly it means that art is basis of education. I feel like saying something completely new, which I have never said before. It is a wrong term which we are using. Art should be the basis of education. Mm -hmm. Art itself should be education and style of life. That means art is not something which is pasted from outside mm -hmm. on some other subjects. Mm -hmm. Art is something which grows along with other subjects and makes every subject or whatever you are learning, yeah. beautiful, useful, and creative. So that is what we mean by art education. 
information which is given in education is just one part yeah. of the whole education. It is, it comes with something else. It comes also with the style of expression. It comes with the style of using language. It comes with the way of you stand and talk. All this is the basis of art as education. When you said that education through art or arts itself is education, it serves the purpose and we don't really educate our teachers or don't give them uh, adequate uh, experience or that time to reflect back what they have to do, what is their role, so that they understand because learning is uh, different than teaching. Once a teacher reaches the classroom, teacher thinks that I am there to teach 2 plus 2, nothing else because even teacher is not given that kind of experience or education where they should experience and then get convinced, internalize the concept that yes, arts is the basis. So we have to uh, mend our ways at the teacher education level also. Art, art is not only A-R-T, it has something more. Yeah. It has some concepts within itself. Yeah. Creativity, yeah. friendliness, love, aesthetics. All these they combined together will make art. And unless you introduce these concepts in the mind of child, you are not teaching the child in a holistic, in a complete human manner. You are only teaching one part of the child, looking after only one hand, the rest, rest of the body is just ignored completely. But that is not the concept that expresses the the idea of art should be the basis of education. How do we organize this kind of art experiences in the class? Because for our teacher it's very important to organize activities in the class. So the kind of art experiences we are discussing here, how do you think that these experiences can be organized in classroom situation? Does the teacher know what should he organize? That is, that is another question, you, you have rightly should questioned he, me. Should he only organize the way the child moves his hand yeah. or push the pen, holds the pen and writes something? Or should also he teach the child to stand gracefully, talk gracefully to the uh, other children and don't consider that he is the only intelligent child among all the 30 in the class? that he is part of whole humanity. Mm -hmm. That concept, not necessarily consciously, but in this unconscious, yes. in, the, in the whole process of thinking, it should be internalized by the child. Because right now our teachers know only teaching. Well, that is, that that is doesn't what, work in this subject. That is what I am trying to emphasize yes. upon. Today the best teacher is one who teaches Arithmetic teaching, teaching, arithmetic teacher. One who teaches arithmetic properly and the children of whose class have learned, more children have, generally speaking, all children or most children have learned how to do that particular work. Ganit or Jama Karna, Minus, Ghatana, Vagara, these sub ये अगर उसने सीख लिया तो टीचर ये समझता है that I have taught the child, I have fulfilled my responsibilities and now my work is complete. Education really means making the personality fulfill its all requirements, not only physical requirements but mental requirements, its aesthetical requirements, his social requirements, all this should be completed, should come into the, uh, into the essence that of That educational edu experience edu we are planning. The pattern of education. So teachers need to 
look beyond that textbook beyond that particular knowledge fragment to complete it with uh, different kind of experiences while uh, organizing art experience but i'll give you an example Ji. in the morning the, uh, the 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 children come they stand in a row to say namaste to the teacher the teacher listens namaste and he says namaste beta bahut acha hua he doesn't see whether the clothing of every child is proper he doesn't see whether the way the, the child is holding his hand he will say namaste like this he can say namaste like this he doesn't see that if he has said namaste guruji it is enough and the work is done but he has to when child stand in the row he has to come and see whether the row is properly formed he must see that the clothing of children is is proper not necessarily identical yeah. i'm not in favor of having this uniforms. uniforms in the school but i'm saying children will be very happy when you say this and yes they will be very <laughs> principal happy principal listen and <laughs> what i'm saying is children like it children like to be different yes. and nature has made us different every individual is different every flower every plant even same uh, species you see that is different and not only is but could have been more uh, complete than they are today as it is art activities or art experiences are difficult to evaluate our teachers are not educated or say prepared for evaluating art works and especially the kind of art experiences we are discussing here how do you propose or how do you suggest our teacher should evaluate these art experiences first thing is when the student comes does he come to you in a in a sensible in a in a socially sound manner yeah. when he goes to the class is he really prepared to face the problems which are which he is going to she is going to face yeah. in the class or when he fails yeah. does he only sit and cry yeah. or does he go to the teacher or do a who are this and see what is happened what is it, the mistake i have made i am just giving an example yes. there could be something else like yes. that when well, uh, what have i what have i done i must have done i have failed but i did everything rightly Ex- explain it yes. not only just give the child a thappar saying foolish you didn't study it properly therefore it is so yes. but explain yes. that means creating a relationship with each other which is based on the sense of i would use the word love yes. i'm saying sense of love sense of love uh and equality yes. if the with this child who are you talking don't consider him to be a miniature adult yes. but consider him to be a child yes. who has the same sense of respect who should who expects respect in the same way as the teacher does and such such things they should all be included in it that that is how it that is so and in cases where like one child is doing one work if it's visual art suppose somebody is painting one child has done it in a so called as per the artistic skills as you uh, said in the beginning that arts education is not just about the skills but you know that teachers most of the time they get influenced by the skills shown by a particular learner no like ek bacche ne koi painting kari aur usme usne color combination acha bithaya line work acha kiya subject acha nikala ek bachcha hai puri tarah se engrossed hai puri tarah se involved hai aur kaam kar raha hai par uske colors mein uski line mein uske composition mein हो सकता है वो चीज़ ना दिखे 
but this child is sincerely trying and this child has also sincerely done his work now when it comes to evaluate teachers somehow end up giving more marks thinking that this is good work and this is not that good work so what is your message for primary classes that while evaluating the work of children a, a teacher should take care of i'll ask the teachers in the whole education system don't count one's abilities by the number of um, number of uh, points he or she has won look at the personality look at the limitations of the person and then say what this child should do the, the treat that child in such manner one who has done a good design work accepts admiration appreciation but it doesn't matter the one who has not done it needs a very thorough criticism but you have done it like this oh what you know theek hai so oh it's bahut acha banaya hai isko ha theek hai zara thoda sa rang badal ke bana dete to acha hota shayad hmm ye kahega to the child will take it in a very different manner yes the child would think that yes he is teaching me something yes i must have done something wrong uh, sit with the child and explain that you could have done slightly better if you had done this 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 i mean this is an example yes, yes. It, you, it can be very different yes. in at different situations so there is no one criteria not one criteria yes. yeah. for uh, evaluating rather evaluation is motivating and guiding a child is is sort of hand holding of a child in to a yeah in a way to complete the process there is one who is doing it differently there is another doing uh, still differently yes. i think the the judging of child child's activities child's behavior is very difficult to understand because you do not know how the child was looked after earlier what is his atmosphere in the home so all that affects the child's behavior the teacher doesn't care for all that the teacher only cares for how the child at that moment behaves if he uh, is standing with other children and does this to the to another child the teacher will not understand what is he doing he may be he may have something to communicate sure, yeah. but he will go and give him a slap ye kya kar rahe kaise kare ho tum khade hum nahi jante ho bilkul to ye is a different the whole is a holistic approach as you you were saying mm-hmm. the teacher has to understand the human nature and this human nature essentially needs the sense of beauty the sense of balance the sense of equality the sense of fulfillment all these are required so bahut bahut dhanyawad thank you very much